black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Today's subscriber sponsored request coming in hot from username it's katie96 but we have had a few chats here and there on instagram she's been nothing but supportive of me and my channel the whole entire time katie was really looking for some taco bell but my whack ass city doesn't have a taco bell so she said quesadillas and nachos would suffice so we have everything prepped and ready that we're gonna need for this one got our tortillas and our chips and all the fixings to make some nice quesadillas and nachos let's get all this together and get to grubbing Okay, hey, so every good nacho needs queso. And we're gonna make a jalapeno, gouda, and cheddar blend queso. So first things first, making a roux, back working with flour, just my favorite thing ever. But you know what I mean, here we go, slow butter in a pan, get it down, and then we're gonna get some flour in here, equal parts, a little tablespoon of flour, and we mix it in. Just cooking off the floury taste. About a cup, cup and a half of whole milk. Seize it all up. Whisk in. Got our shredded cheese, mostly Gouda. I'm just using up cheeses that I had to use up. Incoming pickled jalapenos, chopped up. Stir until thick with three C's. Bubbling up, but definitely keep stirring because we don't want to burn that bottom. Be very attentive. Very attentive. And here we have it, folks, the beautiful jalapeno queso sauce. All right, next up, we gotta make our quesadilla filling. So we got our pulled rotisserie chicken, just beautiful, $10 at the store. Nice and ready, easy, I like it. Pickled is a trending theme in this episode. We have pickled mild mixed peppers into the bowl. Once again, beautiful pickled shallots. Couple pepperoncini rings, why not? A little spice is nice. And obviously we need cheese and quesadilla. And now we mix that and don't stress out. I know that's not a lot of cheese. We're gonna have another little tactic. Just trust me, this is just a, a little prep tactic of mine. Oh, back again, I lied. I uh, actually want some fresh green onion in there as well, but they were keeping nice and cool in the fridge. We make mistakes, we do. Okay, now you can mix it up. <laughs> amateur hour over here all right so for my next trick it goes a little something like this tortilla that shredded cheese though make sure you just spread some everywhere 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 all around don't be shy now don't be too aggressive but don't be too shy now but don't be too aggressive but also don't be too shy now and that goes into the broiler for just a little while so now we have the adhesive, the ad cheese if you will, the glue, okay, for the filling. So we got ourselves a big old pinch of the filling. And we go a half moon on that, a half moon. Lots, lots on the inside. Pat it down, make it nice, fold it over. And we pat it down and we make it nice into the half moon that it's meant to be. So now that we have our two quasadillas closed and ready, we come in with a little paintbrush oil and we just brush each side lightly and nice all across the half moon, right? Just like that. Just a glistening butter forest fat life that will make a nice golden fry crust. All right, so I've got my pan on low and slow, but for show, and we come on in with a half moon on this side to fill half the pan. And you know what they say, two half moons make a full moon, right? So we crisp these guys up. And while that side is doing its thang thang, we're obviously gonna have to oil brush the other side for when we flip ski. Low and slow, my G's, low and slow. Treat it like a grilled cheese. And that's what you get, a perfect quesadilla.
Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, quesadilla time. I wanted some nice cold lettuce, not soggy lettuce in my quesadilla. So what I was thinking is this, quesadilla sandwich. We get the two parts of the moon like this, right? We sour cream like this. That's the glue for the lettuce, All right? Lots of lettuce, just how I like it. Just how the restaurants never make it for me. Then we sour cream the other side. A little Valentina in the middle because we need to have that beautiful heat. Then we make a casadilla sandwich down the middle. We split it to reveal everything that we've ever wanted in a quesadilla sandwich. Okay, move that back. It's nacho time. First things first, our queso. Our jalapeno gouda queso. Next up, we got sour cream. After that is Valentina. After that is ground beef, crumbled. After that is crispy onions. Then we have our pepperoncinis. And then we have our pickled shallots. One per bite. Everywhere you go on the cho. After that, y'all know me. Still the same OG, just a bit low key. A drizzle. Just a drizzle of the shredded latouche. Not too much, not too little, and just enough. Now tell me that that nachos ain't the fire that you want to get in your gullet. Come on now, tell me, tell me for real. Tell me for true that that ain't the nachos that you want in your gully. Peace.